Hey guys, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Um, so anal broke prints are showing up a lot of different places right now. So we're going to do a little mini series and do a few different styles of animal prints. So stay tuned to the end. If we have any other ones, I'll make sure to link them at the end of the video and create a playlist for them. So today's animal print that we're working on are tiger stripes. Now I'm going to do a traditional color tiger stripe and a fun color pop style tiger stripe. I'll be working kind of back and forth just to allow a little bit of dry time on either side and we will make these really fun. We've got some fun sayings to put on the back side of the rock as well. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna start um, on my standard colored tiger. So I'm gonna just go ahead with a bright orange right down the middle. I'm gonna fill in that middle space really well, top to bottom or all the way to the edges of your rocks. Just decide which way your orange stripe is gonna go, like so. They're on nice and thick, so you've got plenty of paint to work with because we're gonna do a little bit of blending out to the outer edge here. You could definitely do this with acrylic paints as well. Uh, just lay down your first colors first and then you can blend with a separate brush um, if you would like to do with acrylics. So we'll put down our two colors first. I always like to get the white all the way to the edge and then we're gonna work our way right here in the center line here. Just kind of blend that orange out into the white a little ways. And yes, I know I'm using my, right on the tip of my uh, white paint pen. It's okay, I promise. Just like that. Go back into that orange, I want a little bit more orange. In the center there. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the tip off my pen here, just till it gets back to white. You can see on the black paper. And then we'll do this other side. Ooh, I still had a little bit of orange on there. And now this side has had a little bit more time to dry, so I might have to come back with my orange. Depends on if it loosens up. If your um, rock absorbs a lot of your paint, you might have to come back with a little bit more orange. If you get too much orange going on your brush, go ahead and wipe it off, pulse it, come back in, lighten it up, there we go. Basically, just want that orange to kind of fade off to the sides. And I kind of want this to go a little bit more off the edge here. There we go. Back with the white. I should have had that going over in the first place a little bit better, but. All right, just make sure when you're done to do a really good job of coloring off the tip. Even if you can see a little bit on there, as long as it's drawing white, you'll be good. All right, now we're gonna be doing the tire stripes on top of this. Um, you can continue to blend until you're happy, but we're gonna let this dry. See, it's still a little bit wet. On this rock, we're gonna do fun, bright colors. I'm gonna do purple down the middle, pink on one side, blue on the other side, and I'm gonna fade these together as well. So I'm gonna color block them out here and then fade them. So first, put nice, bold sections of each color. and then we'll blend them together. So I'm gonna do the blue. We're gonna fill in the blue first. And I'm using my 3Ms. If you have 5Ms handy, you can fill in bigger spaces faster, but these do pretty good. All right, now we're gonna let this one dry. we we'll work on our tiger stripes over here. Now I'm gonna use my 1M Posca pen. Um, if you've got uh, liner brushes, you can use your liner brushes and black acrylic paint as well. Now the main thing when you're doing your tiger stripes is you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a variety. They kind of get thicker and thinner. Sometimes they make little V's and Y's. I like to go in and add a couple stripes that aren't gonna go to the edges first and kind of build around those. So I do them thin and then thicken them up as well. So I'm just gonna go through and place down a few that are gonna go in the center, but not go all the way off the edge. Not very many. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna thicken them up just a little bit, just kind of bounce along them, make them thicker, and then they kind of usually come to little points at the end, they get thinned out. So you can kind of come to the center and thicken them up a little bit, like that. And then I would say the most um, important part about this is just kind of taking your time and laying them out um, so that you get a good balance to them, doing them on a rock. And if you have any flaws, like I have this tiny little dot of paint that I got on my rock at some point in time. I don't know if you can see it from there. So I'm gonna make sure I cover that up. So you can start by adding some stripes that come all the way from one side and come to the center, not all the way across. Maybe you have one that comes all the way across. Okay, and then maybe one that comes from this side, but not all the way. And just lay out a few lines. Go have this one come here, but not go all the way. All right, and then we're gonna thicken those ones up. Now, every once in a while, you're gonna get little V shapes and Y shapes, so you can add a couple of those. Where they come from. After we have these thickened up, then you can decide if you wanna add more to your design. You can always add more. So I like to add in a few, fill them in, then go back and add a few more and fill them in. So I'll speed this up while I'm making these thicker, but let you watch. So this one's dried, but I'm not really happy with the blend that I have between um, these two colors here. I want the transition to be a little bit more of a fade. So what I'm gonna do actually is come back in here and do a stripe of each color right on the seam here. And then I'm just gonna take a brush to blend it a little bit better. So I'm just gonna do a stripe of each right on here. And then I'm going to take a brush and kind of wiggle this line together like this, just to have more of a fade. Now this dry, this was actually a dry brush, just like that. See the difference there? It's not a lot, but it's just enough to give it a little bit less of a harsh um, thing. Now I'm gonna grab a completely different brush and do the exact same thing on here because I don't want it to be wet. So again, a purple stripe right by my seam pink stripe right by my seam and then I'm just going to wiggle that one down as well. Now once this dries I'm just going to go through here and um, So once this dries, we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna rinse these brushes and start adding on tiger stripes. So we'll fly through that. You can watch it here in just a few seconds and then you'll see how they both look at the end. So 
wild at heart, wild and free, just something really fun. Obviously, I'm adding my hashtag on these for when I hide them around town. Oh, I didn't dot my eye over here. But they're just fun. So whether you go with the traditional tiger stripe or you go with some really fun, funky colors, these are so fun to do. You can kind of play around with them. I've got a couple little spaces here, like as I look at it from further away, that uh, I might uh, touch up just a smidge. I just like to kind of play around with these stripes a little bit, just so that they have a really cool design when it's all said and done. And they're just really fun to do because there's not any specific pattern that you really have to follow. You just kind of go with the flow. You can go with the shape of your rock. Obviously, I'm using these flat stones. These are really great for showing you guys the tutorials, but these can be done on any rock whatsoever. Um, you don't even have to have a white base coat on them if you're doing the colorful one like this. Um, or this one because you're blending into the white as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed. We've got a few more patterns that we're going to do and we're going to give a kind of fun twist to each of them as well with the bright bold colors. So we'll see you soon with another rock pinning tutorial and we'll leave links to them right when this video is over. Bye-bye.